Here we go again then, Tinkercad, Tinkercad circuit. So log into whichever device you have at hand. I will say that the easiest device to use is a, uh, is a PC running the Chrome browser uh, with a mouse. That allows you to do many things a lot, lot easier than on a tablet. So I've got a pulled out a battery and I've pulled out a DC electric motor. Let's first of all turn that battery around and then position it. Let's also turn this DC motor. So remember, top left, you can turn things. Now we've got to wire it up. So we drag a wire out across like that, and another wire across like that. Now we're going to change the bottom one to a red color to help us debug things in the future. So we know uh, that that is the positive wire. These wires, they're just bits of metal covered in plastic. So remember, the electricity uh, flows from negative to positive, so it's going to go this way around the circuit. Our circuit is complete. We'll start the simulation, and the motor moves at nearly 3,000 RPM revolutions per minute, and it's going to the left. That's all very well and good. Two sorts of electricity, alternating current and direct current. If you're in class with me, we'll go over that a little bit more. We use direct current with microcontrollers, and we don't use any more than 9 volts. Never, ever, ever, ever use mains electricity uh, straight out of a, a wall socket. First of all, it's the wrong flavour of electricity. It's alternating current. And secondly, everything can make a very, very, very big bang. Most micro microcontrollers work at about 3 volts or thereabouts. So even the 9 volt battery in this, that big, big battery there is too much for a lot of things. So that's a quick word about that. Say so more in my class if with me. Let us do something we can do with this sort of thing. We can swap over the way that the electricity moves around the motor. So we'll make that black. So that's the correct. So we've we've coloured the wire to the to the colour it is that leaves the battery. Okay. We'll start the simulation. Motor goes the other way. Now this is one of the few components you can do this with. You can't do this with every electrical component. There's some you can, some you can't. Um, but there we are. So a DC direct current electric motor, you can change the direction of travel that it rotates or the way that it rotates by swapping over the wires. I wonder how we could find that useful. More of that next time. Cheers for now.